Hey, good up, Tommy Morning. Dr. Michael Nelson, YouTube Eye Doctor here today. And today I'm so excited because I got Christine Ziegel with me here today. And she's the Canadian National Key Account Executive for Transitions Optical. And so, so transition lenses are this fantastic lens. The concept is really, really incredible. Basically, it's this clear lens. It's clear indoors all the time. You go outdoors, it turns to a sunglass, basically you only need one pair of glasses. You see in this commercial here, it's so futuristic. It's so awesome. It's so great. It wasn't everyone wearing the transition lens, but we're going to be talking about the problems with transition lenses and if these are actually problems or if they're just myths. So, so Christine, one of the things I often hear from patients is that they say, I, I've seen that lens, but lenses are almost always got this little tint indoors in photos and, and I don't, I don't really want that look. So, you know, is that a myth or is that? Well, it's, it's not necessarily a myth. So the way in which transitions lenses work is they activate based on UV exposure or exposure to the sunlight. So if you're coming from the outdoors indoors, it takes a little bit of time, not as much time as it used to, but a little bit of time to deactivate or clear up from their dark to clear state. So you're right, sometimes if you're in a situation where you're getting your photo taken, you may have a little slight residual indoor tint. Cosmetically, some people don't like that, but keep in mind that it's the way that the lenses perform. But what's important to know is the lenses do fade back much more quickly than they did many years ago because the product consistently improves over time. The product and technology has evolved. And so you're not seeing as much of that indoor tint than you once did about the product. So it's a bit of a myth but it's also the way in which the product performs. So it may not be what you remember seeing in other people in, exactly. in the past because I mean gener you know Transitions has multiple generations. We're on Generation eight, generation eight, eight now, and yeah. and that one compared to was it Generation Seven or Signature Seven? Signature Seven. So the previous one, it was like it 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 fades back about twice as fast, almost twice as fast. It's it's over thirty percent faster to fade back yeah. than the previous technology, which is quite incredible. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess what another important thing to note is that the person that's wearing transitions doesn't necessarily feel that the lenses might still have a little bit of a tint. And keep in mind, when those lenses are tinted, even indoors, as they start to clear up, you're still getting that filtration, that protection from indoor, vis like high energy visible light that you do sometimes get from fluorescent light bulbs um, or different glare. So, so your eyes are still protected, even if they've got a little tint. But again, as I mentioned, you're not always seeing that tint as much as you once did. Okay, so you touched a little bit about UV light. And one of the other things that people say is that, I, you know, while I like the transition lens, I really love this lens, but I, when I drive, this lens isn't going as dark as I wanted. It's not a dark option um, right. when I'm driving. So is that still the case with transition lenses? The good news is it's not the case anymore. So we have evolved the technology and now we have a technology called Transitions Extra Active. And so the difference between Transitions Extra Active and our traditional Transitions Signature Gen 8 is that the Extra Active technology actually does activate behind the windshield. And the way in which it does that is it activates by both exposure to sunlight, but also visible light. So when you're driving in your car, our car windshields block UV. But because the extra active technology also activates by the visible light that's coming into your car, so if you're driving on a sunny day, you'll get that activation. And you're going to get about, I would say, a 50 to 55 percent tint. So not a full sunglass darkness behind the windshield, which is about, let's say, 85 percent mm -hmm. tint. But you're going to get a nice, comfortable tint behind the windshield. So now the people that for whatever reason did not want to wear transitions, now you've got that extra active option so that you're getting that activation while you're driving your car. That's it's, awesome. fa it's fantastic. All right, so another common question we get is that, oh, hey, my transition lenses, they're not going dark enough outside, particularly in your warm climate. If you're in a warm climate, these lenses don't go dark enough. And now, personally, I'm on the other side. I'm going, I like a light tint, so mine go too dark. But tell me about the people that are, are uh, you know, would like a darker tint. Is there an option or are there changes there? Yeah, there's definitely options. So. Um, again, going back to the Transitions Extra Active technology, that is a lens for, so everybody's light sensitive, yeah. okay? But the very light sensitive person 
would want to be wearing transitions extra active because that technology also gets darker even in the hotter temperatures. So for that person that wants that extra bit of tint, the extra active is the product that you want versus the more versatile transitions signature Gen 8, which does get dark, but you're gonna get a little bit darker tint with the extra active product. Okay, cool. And now along that same line, there's some people say, well, okay, it doesn't go dark enough, but there's also a group of people that love their polarized lenses. They love those lenses that where I'm on the water, it takes off that glare off of the, the, the water or at a wet road or the snow. They want, you know, an option that is polarized and they really love that in their dedicated sunglasses. But you know, that's not available on, on transitions. Actually, we do have a polarized transitions okay. technology that's available now. So that's, again, within the extra active family of technology, you can now get transitions extra active polarized. And what's really cool about this technology is it's still a clear lens. So transitions are clear lens replacement because they are clear indoors, but you've got the polarization, the variable polarization. So as you spend time outdoors and as your lenses activate, the lenses also become polarized. So if you're someone that's spending a lot of time outdoors, either skiing, outside on a boat, fishing, and you need that glare protection, we've got that technology now in the extra active polarized. The darker they get, the more polarized they become, and they'll reach about a 90% polarization, what we call polarization efficiency. So it's comparable to a static, polarized sunglass lens cool. when they're fully activated. That's really cool. Like, it's and, and so we, amazing. I mean, we've, I've taken so much, you know, physics and, and optics. I, I have no idea how you guys even do that, but that's pretty incredible. There's a lot of science and technology built into the lenses, but um, I guess what's really important from a wearer's perspective is that you've got these options now, depending on your lifestyle, depending on your hobbies, your interests. And so now we've really diversified our product portfolio and you can choose the transitions lens technology that best fits your lifestyle. I mentioned a little bit earlier, I talked about, you know, my grandpa wearing this. Um, and I think that's the general perception. This is, this is my grandparents' lens. I've, I've seen them wear it. I mean, there's no young people are wearing this lens, or is that not true? Or are there options that are, you know, a little bit more trend-setting? So this is a great question, too. And this is a perception that people have about transitions but we've really evolved the brand over the years. And so at one time, when the first or second generation of transitions came out, typically it was, it was a lens that um, an older demographic would wear, but it, because the lens has evolved, we've actually made this uh, brand and our product much more fashion forward. We now have seven style colors available with transitions. So you can get your historical gray, brown, and graphite green, but now we have beautiful sapphire, amethyst, emerald green, and amber lenses. So this really speaks to a younger uh, generation, a younger demographic, and who doesn't want beautiful clear lenses that darken to you know, a sapphire blue or an amethyst purple. And they people are, are using beautiful. that color to, to complement their frame color and frame style as absolutely, well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So you can basically create this unique um, pair of eyeglasses that fits your personal personality, your personal preferences, and it's really, really starting to be fun to choose a specific frame style, frame color, and pair that with your favorite transitions lens color. And you also have, there are also some options in, in mirrors or semi mirrors on the front as well. Absolutely. So we have what we call our transitions style mirrors. And now, and the mirror coating is obviously very trendy, very fashion forward. And so you can choose your specific transitions lens color and then pair that with a variety of different um, mirrors that are available. So we've got green, blue, silver, gold. Uh, copper mirror, and they are they are gorgeous. Wow, there's a lot of options. A lot more options than there once was with transitions. Cool. All right, so there's obviously a lot of great options. And if you want to delve into a little bit more deeply about those options, I've got another video right here that you can watch. And with that, have a great optometry day.